Here we go. Oh! Nani? Oh my god, I can't believe that actually happened, dude. Holy f dude. Boys, is that it? Is it's over? Holy shit. It's actually over. That's insane, dude. Luckily, I have the instructional hat with me, so yep, we're instantly adding it to the hats. But here's what it looks like without the kit, really, really quick. And uh, yeah, we're gonna add this to the ancestral hat. And look at us! Oh my god! Freaking beautiful, man. I've been wanting this set for so long, ever since it was first pitched in Twisted League as a reward, but then failed. But then they brought it back into CMs. I'm looking like Gandalf, man. That's nice. Oh. It's a really, you know, I have a long story with Ancestral, man. It, it took me, I think, 2,000 solo raids to complete full Ancestral because uh, the, my last piece was Ancestral Legs. So there's definitely a good reason to try to get the Ancestral even more pimped out. God damn, bro. I can't believe it. We actually finished raids again. First time we finished raids before Challenge Mode came out with the dust. And then we ended up getting the dust at some point. We finished it. A second time and then Jagex was like all right ancestral recolor kit so yes now we finished raids for a third time on this account I'm not gonna be surprised if Jagex decides to add some more stuff in the future for chambers cuz then yeah I mean I guess I'll be back for that but but as of right now we are officially done with chambers of Jagex once again on mr. iron bar so we can put this content pretty much to rest once again so last week I bought the best respawn point in the game with the Ferox Enclave respawn point and that motivated me to uh, try to perfect the new Suicide Court method ever since Death Mechanics changed it up a bit. So you'll see a little bit of that in this video but before I get into that I want to talk about the new blog that just came out because it potentially might impact the court method as in making it even better. Because I was uh, testing the Blood Fury a while ago and it turned out even though it's useful, it's not worth the time getting because it degrades too fast for what it's worth. And uh, yeah, in the new blog, they were thinking about buffing the Blood Fury. So currently, the Blood Fury has a 10% chance to activate and healing 10% of whatever you hit. So overall, it heals 1% of your total damage. And uh, with the new idea they had, they were going to increase the chance of healing to 20%. And it would heal for 30% of your damage. So it would basically heal a total of 6% of whatever you end up hitting. So it's actually 6 times more effective. But the problem is, I think, more so than the effect is how long it lasts and how long it takes to get. So the drop rate, again, is insane. It's like 1 in over a 1,000 fire watches, And that's probably easily over 10 hours to get. And also, it doesn't last that long still. It still will only last 10 to 20 hours max. But if it does pass, I will give it a shot. But I'm just saying right now, honestly, if they don't extend the longevity of the Blood Fury or make it more common, then yeah, I find it really hard to see it being worth even after this buff. So I took the opportunity to uh, refine the new Suicide Corp method. So the biggest issue I had was how was I going to spec the boss towards the end, right when I'm about to uh, do the suicide and drop the food? Uh, because, you know, ideally I want to have a full set of armor to spec, but the problem is if I do that, the gravestone is going to keep a lot of it. Even though I don't have to pay, I would have to spend time to grab them out uh, every kill. So instead of doing that, I actually minimized my spec setup to about four items. So my gloves, uh, my con cape, uh, art light, and defender. Because the way that works is if I die with those items, I actually keep them all in my inventory. And I will only lose the locator orb. And that's not a big deal because I, I have tons of locator orbs and they're easy to get back. So yeah, I don't have to actually waste time grabbing stuff back from the grave until the very end when I feel like I'm done with orb. And even then, they'll just go to death's office and I can just grab it for free. So yeah, I tested that a bunch just with four items alone. I was able to spec corp pretty much the same. Like I, I barely noticed uh, any difference in terms of accuracy. I was landing my Arlex specs all the same. Cause let's be honest, after like four or five Warhammers, the boss's defense is already stupid low anyway. So you don't really need a max setup. So I did about like 50 kills just to you know get the new muscle memory down for this method. And yeah, I was getting about seven and a half kills an hour, which is exactly what I, I'm looking for. So it's only slightly, slightly slower than before the uh, death mechanics. 
So the method is pretty much refined and I'm satisfied with how efficient it is. So after the uh, new Dark Mire quest, I was trying to figure out where the hell I would get the Dragon's Medallions because I dropped them all the time for Nightmare, but it uh, looks like it's still in the same place. They just switched the NPCs that I give it to you now, so no biggie. Sometimes I like to live life on the edge. As you can see, I have low HP and low prayer, which means it's a perfect combination to trigger redemption. So as long as I don't mess up, you know, then it's really worth because I get a lot of HP back for uh, almost no prayer loss. Clutches dodge I've probably ever done at Nightmare. So I've saved up very patiently 160k blood runes, mostly from um, rune crafting and stuff like that. But my saying stats running low again. Probably another 60,000. Yeah, that, it's just like that, you know, the blood runes just go super fast. So it's always good to mix things up, so I'm going to be doing a bit of Group Nightmare hit there. So there's some benefits to Group Nightmare, aside from like the unique drops being worse time-wise to get. Your pet time to get is actually quicker because uh, everybody has a chance to get the pet per kill, so there's no competition. You can get multiple pets a kill. So the faster you kill the boss, the better your average time it takes to get the pet. So it's kind of nice. Earlier in my nightmare research when I was trying to figure out like which gear I would bring to optimize like the damage I uh, made a mistake So when I was testing the max hits for the trident I realized that if I wore all three ancestral pieces I didn't actually get an extra max hit for each piece I only got max hits up to two pieces and I thought the sang staff was gonna translate to the same thing but actually the sang staff I can get a max hit for every single ancestral piece, assuming I am uh, maxing B hearted from the uh, 108 magic level to 109, I believe. But yeah, that situation is very common. I usually have that stat, especially for solos. So with that realization, it's actually super worth it for me to try to squeeze in all the ancestral pieces into my setup, especially for groups that will be super easy. Now for uh, solos, it might be a little challenging because uh, to bring two extra pieces means sacrificing two more slots for food or something, but I definitely think it's worth a shot, so we're going to be doing a lot of testing. It'll be worth it. Those max hits are doubled on the pillar, so yeah, two extra max hits means four extra on the pillar. 78. Oh my god, what is that hit? 86. Oh my god. Pog. That was awesome. I do have Zami, Zami Brews though. So, I'm the only one alive in my team right now. This was a learner team of friends, so yeah, things happen. We're on the last kill, and uh, yeah, I'm the only one alive, but I should be able to pull off this kill because I have some Zami Brews from previous kills. Zami Brews are really good because every dose gives me prayer points, and I can use that to redemption and keep myself alive. Ah, oh, man, Savage. But, nice, 2000 KC though, I guess. What? Elite Clue Scroll, oh my god, I haven't gotten one in, in like a thousand plus Nightmare Kills, bro. Multi -kill. Oh, that was so awesome. Where? Oh shit, yo, nice, first sub four minute, I'm happy with that. Cool. Nice, man, hell yeah. So on the second pillar of the Parasite phase, Full Ancestral is nice for the Parasites as well. I can also just hit it with magic now because I'm pretty accurate having the top and bottom. And I also have a chance to heal off the Parasite as well with the Sang Stab, so that's a bonus. Unlocks this. Boom. Nice. There we go. Oh, wow. That's still kind of far away. No, not really. It's definitely hella close to this master step, so worth. Why do I keep getting the stupid Manta Ray Troll, dude? Oh shit, Zugtas. I'll take it. I haven't done a Zugtas in a long time. So, I'm testing the Elder Staff a bit more, and uh, for this task, I didn't miss much because now I am focusing on specking on the Nibblers or on the Red Mini Blob that comes out of the Big Blob. And yeah, accuracy is not an issue. It's just I had some bad RNG and I kept hitting really low numbers, so my prayer game was bad. 
So I think I need at least one more Inferno try with the other staff because this time was super bad RNG. Oh shit, we just hit 2,000 KBD. Um, two, two thirds of the way to the pet rate, eh? Two thirds of the way. Are you serious, bro? Are you fucking- Yo, door, come on, bro. Are you serious? Great, it glitched, so I gotta wait. That's why I always bring uh, two throwing axes because I know this shit has a chance to happen, so. Ooh, so worth it. See, that's why I do elite clues, man. Let's open this up. We got ourselves another mimic. Oh, really? 25 ran our weed. Okay. J E H Jr. Thinks. We'll open these again when we uh, get a bunch more uh, in the future. Oh, damn. I just healed 33. That was so sick. Oh, gargoyles. I actually will do uh, a gargoyle task. I already have the pet and stuff, but they did update it. And I want to see uh, how much faster they are. Oh, okay. So this is faster? Eh, it's not much different. I, th I thought I was going to be able to attack between the charges, but no. It's just... They just made the charges shorter. I see. Holy shit. First kill, it was beyond scuffed. And I managed to uh, almost beat my PB. <laughs> what the hell? After the update. That's crazy. Hey, we got a new PB though. That didn't take too long. Oh, hey, another PB. There you go. But that's not good enough. Another one. Oh my god. God, 6971? Damn, bro. That was so close to max. Uh, dang, I fucked up, but still a PB, though. I can't believe that. No. Task completed. That was an interesting experience with the new update, but yeah, it's about like 20 seconds faster on average, it seems. So, if you guys didn't like this boss because it was too slow, maybe 20 seconds... Uh, Faster might be good enough for you now. Damn it, dude. 305, 105 over the right. PB! Let's go 627. I PB by like a few seconds. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss on future videos. And if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye-bye.